I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. <laughs> <laughs> Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay, if I die, I'll make sure and report to you. Welcome back, everybody, to The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our adventure here. Um, uh, heading into Edgewater. So we're pretty much picking it up right where we left off. And we're going to continue our quest here. We are on the path to try and find ourselves a power regulator. Okay, and we're entering the town of Edgewater, so let's do this. We got coffins out here. Robot looking thingamadoodles. Whoa, oh, those hey, are like augers. You come from? Probably for like digging graves and stuff. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. How do you know I'm not a marauder? Um, yeah, don't be so sure. I could be a marauder. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Um, <clears throat> do they pay you to chat with strangers? Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Round. Is that why well, you've got a pair of armed guards? Um. Yeah, I mean, do they pay you to travel with strangers? I am employed by the <clears throat> Retirement Department of Spacer's Choice. That's fancy talk for working in the cemetery. Nice retirement. Dave Silas, junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Uh, who do I talk to about a power regular? I'm looking to make a little money. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. Junior, you never finished that type of grave here. On their way. Um, let's, um, yeah, this place does kind of look like it's falling to pieces. But you know what? We're, we need to find a power regulator. That's what we're doing here. Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? All of the above. <laughs> Depends upon the work. Are you offering me a job? I do what I want. You're asking the wrong person. I'm not interested. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, he sounds like he's maybe offered us a job. Let's go Edgewater see. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. You rent a grave Renting site. means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Okay. So, really? Are we talking about the same board that left me and, and hundreds of thousands of other people to, like, just perish on the, the, the ship called the Hope? That board? Uh, you want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. You're making people pay for their own graves? Why can't you collect the fees yourself? Let me ask you about something else. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Um, yeah, why are you making them pay for their own grapes? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town 10 feet under. Free of charge. <laughs> okay. Um, why can't you collect them? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? No, I guess they don't. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll collect your fees for you. Four workers still have a little muscle work here. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Okay. Why? Where? Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in barber town. Barbershop. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Cannery? Abernathy. I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. Okay. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. So Ludwig is by the landing pad. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Uh, okay. There's something else I want to ask yeah. you? Yeah. Um, this town's in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. If you, you use a lot of... You lose a lot of... Do you... Man, lose a lot of people to Marauders. Have you heard of news about the Hope? How long have you been a junior in humor, grade digger, whatever? Uh, yeah, let's try to find out about the Hope. That's probably what I'm most interested in. The colony ship? Yeah. 
Are you talking about that old rumor? Not a rumor. A great big starship packed full of colonists. What got lost in the aether never to be found again. Mm -hmm, that one. Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? Um, are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? The hope isn't a rumor, it's real. I'm living proof. Um, do I want, okay. Yeah, let's go with number one. I don't understand. Are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. This is ridiculous. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Let's change the subject. Uh, yeah, I don't understand. Well... I kind of do, because probably Sila or Phineas or whatever the dude's name that released me probably filled me in a little bit more than we saw in the cutscene. Um, let's just let's just play along. I don't understand. They said the quality was expecting Look, us. I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop, or there's going to be trouble. Oh, are you threatening me? Um, where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Um, all right. Well, let's change the subject then. Something I can do for you? Uh, got a question for you. Yeah? This town must be in pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. Oh, you got a plague, huh? Wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. You're not worried about falling sick? How long have you been a junior in here? Yeah, you're not worried about getting sick? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Um, how long have you been a junior in humor, grave digger, whatever? Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one, <laughs> uh... All my life, <laughs> work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Yeah, but you're working with dead people. <laughs> Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Um, do you lose a lot of people to marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Oh, okay, that's why you got guards. What are they after, loot? Um, if you got a marauder problem, I can take care of it. And I know where they're coming from. <laughs> I mean, we have already killed several of them. Yeah, let's see if he'll offer us a job to kill some marauders. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. All right, sounds good. What are they after, loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. You mean, like, Does the bodies? Swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery? Company's gonna duck my pay. Uh, all right. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Thanks for your time, I guess. All right, so we've got to go find some people and rough them up to get some coin for this guy to pay their uh, gravesite fees, even though that seems really weird. And we got to go talk to the constable and see if we can get a job killing marauders and turning in their fingers, I guess. I wonder if that if if we'll get like retro pay for the ones we've already killed. Probably not. Why is that all yellow right there? Oh, it's a light. All right. What's out here? Edgewater Cemetery discovered. 100 XP. Is this like all of this the cemetery? Oh my goodness. There's a lot of a lot of people dying around here. Okay, let's go on in. Can we loot these things? What's that do? Transition to Edgewater. Emerald Veil. Science weapons have weird and useful effects, but they also do damage. That damage increases as your science skill improves. Okay. Here we are in Edgewater. Interesting. Can we go in here? Nope. Cantina specials, hot meals, cold meals, live music, day-old salt tuna, two bits off. 
Can we go in there? I need something to drink. Corporate guard. They start asking you for some medicine. Come tell me. I'll set them straight. They're, they need to have like a lower your gun option. Uh, so you're not like putting it in their face, you know? Oh, we got to go in the barber shop. Let's talk to this guy. Conrad Sadik. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. I'm about ready to put my hands Physical on your neck and strangle you. Recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. You're an asshole already, I can tell. Um, do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? Intimidate. I can show you my hands. Yeah, let's intimidate. I don't like this guy. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. That's weird. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet space I'm not going to report anything to you. Standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. <laughs> <laughs> Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Okay, if I die, I'll make sure and report to you. Um, I'm looking for to repair my ship. Silas sent me to collect your dues. Yeah, hey, you owe, you owe money, dude. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Um, you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's be let's be mean. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Yeah, I could rough you up. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Your apologies, huh? Um. Hang on. Medical rights? Yeah, what's that about? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Um. Well, give him an IOU, sure. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Okay. Um, I'll let you know if I think of anything or I don't have time for this. Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess I'll let you know. Much obliged. Smartass. Uh, uh-oh, we're tired and you need sleep. In, in supernova difficulty, you must sleep on your ship every day to prevent exhaustion. Without sleep, your exhaustion will get worse over time in four stages. Reducing your temperament, intelligence, strength at each stage before eventually death. All spacers, choice employers are required to get a minimum of two hours rest every day. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours rest every day to maintain focus. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Um, so I'm going to if I okay, what happens if I steal? Do you have anything to drink? Um Heavy ammo. Okay, let's just find out what happens if we steal. He didn't notice. <laughs> Can I knock him out? It doesn't give me like an option to do that. A bit cartridge. Hey, you got money right in here, man. You're lying to me and saying you can't pay your stuff when you got money right in there. Here, let's go in here. Oh shit, there's dead people in here. I thought this was a barber shop. Can I close the door? Letter from Phyllis. Receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Deduction of spatial choice property. Eugene was an asset. Somebody has to pay his body price. Yeah, you don't even call it suicide? 
This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Isn't she in someone else that we got to collect money from? Okay, that was weird. Um... Light ammo and bit cartridges. Gourmet salt tuna fillets. What else we got in here, man? This is like a morgue. All right, we're gonna steal all this shit. <laughs> um, anybody down in there? Oh, that's gross. And, and this guy's like talking about hygiene and stuff. Look, the floor is like filthy. It's got blood and oil and shit all over it. Excuse me. Um, all right, is that all we can loot in here? I think so. We already looked in there, right? Is that his heart or brain or what the hell? That's weird, man. Okay, let's go back out. Can we? What happens if we steal this? Is he gonna like freak out on us? We should actually hold on a sec. We should probably talk to him first because of the teeth thing. Right, let's talk to him. What can I do for you? Um, I knew about Eugene. Why not use his teeth? Medical. You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. I've got some questions for you. Let's uh, ask the questions first, actually. Go ahead. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. What do you know about the plague? Yeah, what do you know about the plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it you is didn't treat him. What the hell? Uh, what are the symptoms? Or, or yeah, why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Oh, I see. Um, whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful-looking fellow stares out of his office most hours. Hmm. Okay, uh, you seem pretty enthusiastic about this Edgewater place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. But you said you don't have any money, though. Uh, sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. Oh, uh, sounds like bullshit to me. Okay, um, that's all for now. Wait a minute, though. We wanted what to talk to him about the you? teeth. Okay, um... You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. I do? I don't remember what my medical is. I don't think that's true. Let's, um... Yeah, let's persuade. You know about Eugene? How? Uh, magic? Um... I'm a mind reader. <laughs> I'm a mind reader. You were probably poking around my face. I didn't say that. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. <laughs> he took them to his grave. You're supposed to pull them out. Um, yeah, he probably won't miss him. He's dead. That's unthinkable. <laughs> Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body. And pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills? Can I? Sure. Um, I don't care. I'm just here to collect your dues. Yeah. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Oh, all right. Cool. Um, now, can you look the other way for just a second? What oh. do you think you're doing? Um... Uh, intimidate whatever I want. Yeah, you punk. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? Your reputation with the faction has changed. If enemies are hostile but your reputation isn't, kill on sight. Leave for a few days and we'll calm things down. All right, maybe that's uh, not in my <laughs> my best interest to do do that right now because I gotta I gotta talk to all these other people too. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, papers from him. Now, 
Let's go. Uh, cannery. Yeah, we had to talk to some lady in the cannery, didn't we? I think her name was Phyllis, right? I've been feeling pretty low these days. I know how you feel. Nice green hair, dude. Somebody's been rambling about some colony ship. Wonder what that's about. Yeah. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Yeah, I'm a horse shit. Birdie Cotton, dead or alive. Doc Mabel, dead or alive. Oh, we can actually examine those. Uh, one, a Doc Mabel Burgess. Uh, Burgess, probably. From the Space Destroyed Department of Retirement, a writ of execution effective immediately for Mabel Burgess. Former Spacer's Choice physician, condemned on charges of derelict of duty, disappeared from Edgewater with two parcels of adrenatime, a large, at large and dangerous. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, vandalism, and unlicensed practice of medicine on seditious criminals. Generous bounty, payment on delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See cons Constable Rays for the details. Okay. And what about this guy? From Spacer's Choice Department of Retirement, a writ of execution effectively for Burt Cotton, former vicar, stationed in, in Edgewater Vicarage, no longer in good standing with Halcyon Branch Order of Scientific Inquiry, at large and dangerous, wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, sedition and unauthorized use of medical supplies, generous bounty, payment on delivery. Okay. And then what about, uh, however the hell you say that, uh, Ghoul, Ghoulamy? Gulami Gill. We'll call him Gill. Um, da, 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 da. Former Spacer's Choice associate, uh, associate mechanic terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of adrenatime. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers, and good standing theft and unauthorized use of medical supplies. All right, so pretty much kind of the same thing for all of them. All right, well, if we come across those guys, maybe we can we some better ration. turn them in. Can we go in here? What is this? This is the oh, that's the constable. We need to talk to him about uh, bounties. Can we pick that up? No, we probably better not steal in the police station. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. Can we go in here? Yeah, we better not go in there. They might lock us up. Oh, there's our friend Phineas. Sedition, forgery, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit conspiracy, <laughs> unlicensed medical practice, destruction of board property. Uh, all right. So, what's this do? Use terminal. Spacer's Choice. When life gives lemons, consider it a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery. Spacer's Choice property. Terminal access. Welcome, Constable Reyes. Bounty records exit. All bounties posted by Edgewater Consti Constabulary. Constabulary. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, have been authorized by Spacer's Choice. View bounties, open bounties, close bounties. Okay, these are all the people we have already looked at. Closed bounties. There aren't any. Okay, so maybe this is where we turn those in. Constu constabulary. <laughs> constabulary. Constabulary. I don't know. I'll have to look it up on Google. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk to the constable. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are oh, constabulary. In frontier justice. Constabulary. The is a promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Purchase criminal investigations? What the hell? If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm here for hire. I've got some questions for you if you don't mind. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's ask questions first. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Acceptable margins of curiosity. I gotcha. Does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? So who do you work for? Special Choice or Edgewater? Uh, yeah. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I can believe that. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Vale serve Spacer's Choice. Uh, who does Spacer's Choice answer to? That sounds like slavery, so you're basically a bureaucrat. Um. Well, yeah, who does Spacer's Choice answer to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, <coughs> which Excuse occupies me. a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, <sighs> also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Well, excuse me, hoity-toity. Um, doesn't... So you're basically a bureaucrat. There was one other thing. Yeah, let's ask about Phineas Wells, because I don't know anything about him either, really. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? 
Um, he's a scientist for Quinny. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. It looks like there's a bat in his head. He kidnapped me, unfroze my body, and shot me into space. So then I landed here. Um, well, let's just play like we don't know him. You are correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas V. Wells. He's a scientist we're acquainted. If the bar's paying, I'm willing to collect on that bounty. No, well, no, I don't necessarily want to turn him in unless I know that uh, he's a scoundrel or something. He did, after all, kind of save me. Uh, let's see what she says What if, if I tell her I know him. I am obliged to warn you against forming acquaintanceships, friendships, partnerships, or any felicitous relationship with a wanted criminal. Felicitous. I am also obliged to inform you of our referral program. For every criminal you refer to the authorities... The board will reward you. Um, well, saved my life. I want to know why the board wants him dead. How long has he been on the run? He kidnapped me and hauled me off to his lab. Yeah, but I don't, the thing is, is, I don't necessarily trust him. He's do, uh, obviously got an ulterior, ulterior motive. I don't think he did that out of the kindness of his heart. Maybe he did, though. We don't know that yet. Uh, how long has he been on the run? Wells has been wanted for as long as the board decides he has been wanted. This decision will be made in accordance with Wells' behavior upon arrest. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Facer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas V. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. Um, all right, so who do I have to talk to? I assumed you were the nearest board authority, yeah. I represent Facer's choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary you told me of that. Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells' finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. She's kind of a biznatch, isn't she? All right, uh, one other thing. Something to report? If you need help with the marauder, your marauder problem, I'm for hire. As a Spacer's Choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Right, deputize me. Now have to carry me. yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Oh, so all those people who are wanted are the ones that she wants me to actually get. Okay. All right, I think I'm done talking to you. I don't really like you very much. Just saying. <clears throat> Yeah, we probably better not steal stuff in the police station. Not a good idea. Wish we had some better rations. Okay, so what happens if we go around this way? Uh, we are like really getting thirsty now. Can we loot anything out of this trash? Uh, bit cartridges. Who would throw money on the ground? What the hell? Um, I suppose. I suppose we can drink the alcohol, but it just messes up our um, our stats if we do that. We can't go in there. Maintenance division. All right, what do we got going on in here? Yeah, I guess we're not. That's not stealing. Picking that up. Use terminal. For what purpose? Trouble tickets. AG load of cereal is failure. Uh, failure on startup. Priorities. Medium steps to reproduce. Turn on engine. Try it again. Try it again. Kick the loader. Curse injured toes. I have to enter a minimum of eight steps. Try it again. It makes rattling noise. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Interesting. Ooh, what's that? Pick up a bypass shunt. Nice. That's what we need to hack stuff. Can we go in here? Ooh, this is kind of a nice place. <clears throat> Alrighty. Um. Let's go in here first. We can just, like, walk into someone's house, huh? What's that? A toss ball blocker. What the hell? Is that like a weapon? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Ooh. 113 DPS, and it's a one-handed melee. 
That's a nice weapon. That must be like a a mace or something, right? Oh wow. Check that thing out. It's not as it's not as fast as the sword. Do we have DPS ratings on these? Um Oh, that is the DPS. That's not damage. 113 damage per second. This is only 73. This is a lot faster, though. Okay, well, we'll try this thing out. This thing is pretty crazy looking. Uh, what are we missing? Well, there's a timer. I think we need another one of those mag maglock pick thingamadoodles to open that up. Okay. There's a couple of wrenches there. That just goes outside. Let's go up here for a second. Doesn't anybody have anything to drink around this place? Dehydrated water tablets. Oh, apple juice. There we go. That's what we need. Uh, what is this? Water without the hydrogen or oxygen. Sugary drink. Body attributes plus one. Last 30 seconds. Um, a bottle of gently squeezed mock apples. Sugar, sugary drink. Body attributes one. Last 30 seconds. Okay, how do we use this? Uh, F. Okay, does that get our hydration back up? I think it did a little bit. Uh, let's drink these then too, I guess. Yeah, there we go. There's meters in the upper left-hand corner that show me that. Okay, let's take those bit cartridges. Anything up in here? More mock apple juice. Okay, we'll save that for later when we start getting thirsty again. Uh, bread noodles. Tarmac and cheese and bread. I wonder if this, if the inventory system, uh, or rather the encumbrance system, is based upon slots or weight in this game. I guess we're going to find out sooner or later, aren't we? That's the toity. That stuff's not lootable. All right. Nice little deck here. Ooh, heavy hammer. Hammer, heavy hammer. We got some heavy hammer there. <laughs> Heavy ammo. All right, we got to find a rifle. I want to get a long gun. I want to. I want to be a sniper. What's that? Oh, another bypass shunt. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Anything else here? Nope. Is this like somebody's house? Edgewater Saltina Cannery. All right, enter a keyword for record search or hold down Control Alt F7 enter to compose a new entry. Open last search. Last search in Dumati. Searching two records found. First entry. Indumati left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked her, asked if I'd ever see her again. We both know the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I'll look up and think of you. Transcript note from Indomati. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Indomati. Okay, so apparently somebody had to give up their kid or something, I guess. Um, return to root. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Searching. One record found. Open last entry. I sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. Almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the, con at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. All right, somebody likes engineering, I guess. Interesting. Okay, what's this? So, 
All right, so the the bottom thingamadoodles are the the lock picks. What's the 22 by 5 thing? Let's see if we can figure that out. So I'm not sure what that is. Weapon parts, bypass shunts. Oh. Oh, those are quest items. Okay, yeah. Necklaces, junk. All right, yeah, I don't I don't know what the 22 by 5. It almost looks like it's something that you can use to break it, maybe? Can we break this? No, that doesn't seem to do anything. All right. Well, let's just use our lockpicks then. Criminal activities, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal. Murder is? Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Activities are uh, uh, or illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Oh, look, we got a revolver. Nice. Nice. And armor parts, too. Okay, let's take all that stuff. All right, let's check out this revolver here. Um, so this does 94 DPS. Oh, it does less DPS than the, than the pistols. What the hell? Um... 37 damage, 20 damage. Okay, yeah, there is there is actually a damage rating. Okay, so this does 47 damage, but it's 113 DPS. That does 36 damage and is 73 DPS. So this does more damage, but it doesn't do as much damage per second, which probably makes sense because it probably doesn't fire as quickly. Um, so let's put the let's just put this in here and we'll try both of them and see which one we like. This probably uses light armor. Yeah, it does. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll take some algae lager, some coolant tank, small metallic vessel that holds a liquid refrigerant. This tank holds a low viscosity heat transfer fluid used by auto, auto mechanicals to regulate their internal temperature. It's almost certainly toxic. All right, another bypass shunt. Oh, we're getting some good stuff in this room. I wonder whose room this is. So is this somebody's house that we're in? Uh, must okay, yeah, it must be somebody's house. I thought it was like um, more like an apartment building with a bunch of rooms, but I guess it's somebody's house. Can we loot that? Gourmet salt tuna fillets. All right, all right, guys. Well, we're out of time. So um, we're going to, uh, once again, just pick up right where we left off in the next episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave comments and share out the video. I do appreciate it. Those things do help the channel. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.